Some parts of the world, like Caribbean countries, already celebrate Emancipation Day. So do some Canadian cities, like Toronto. But with Parliament making August 1st Emancipation Day throughout Canada, there are high hopes it will become more than just a political gesture. I think it's a start towards an official recognition that slavery actually was practiced here in Canada. It takes some digging to uncover. In this 1807 document, 27 loyalist slaveholders pressure the Nova Scotia House of Assembly to let them continue holding their 88 slaves, saying property in Negroes was maintained and acknowledged, if not encouraged, by the British government. The petitioners called on the government to secure their property by law or compensate them if slavery was abolished. Slavery was outlawed across the British Empire by 1834, 31 years before the United States followed suit. But descendants of slaves, those who either escaped to Canada through the famed Underground Railroad or were enslaved here, say that legacy endures. That early history is still underpinning what we're dealing with today in the addressing issues of anti-black racism. Senator Wanda Thomas Bernard of Nova Scotia fought to have Emancipation Day recognized nationally. She says black Canadians have been forced to rely on oral tradition rather than documented history. Maybe her descendants will have a head start. I don't want them to have to put their family history together like a jigsaw puzzle. No child in Canada should have to do that. The movement to establish Emancipation Day was 25 years in the making. Activists hope it won't take another 25 years for the government to formally recognize and apologize for slavery and its continuing impact. To bring about all the systemic changes that are required to make Canada what Canada professes to be, a free and open country uh, for everyone. Ross Lord, Global News, Halifax.